Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather around the table of the Lord as one family in this feast of the conversion of St. Paul. We ask for the grace through his intercession that we may also see the changes that we must undergo in our lives. And so let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, 
and, and on earth peace, peace to people, to people of, of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore, you. adore you, we glorify, we glorify you. you, we give, give you thanks for, for your great, great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God heavenly, heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten, begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you, through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today, and so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul addressed the people in these words. I am a Jew born in Tarsus in Cilicia, but brought up in this city. At the feet of Gamaliel, I was educated strictly in our ancestral law and was zealous for God just as all of you are today. I persecuted this way to death, binding both men and women and delivering them to prison. Even the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify on my behalf. For from them I even received letters to the brothers and set out for Damascus to bring back to Jerusalem in chains for punishment those there as well. On the journey as I drew near to Damascus, about noon, a great light from the sky suddenly shone around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? I replied, Who are you, sir? And he said to me, I am Jesus, the Nazarene, whom you are persecuting. My companions saw the light, but did not hear the voice of the one who spoke to me. I asked, What shall I do, sir? The Lord answered me, Get up and go into Damascus, and there you will be told about everything appointed for you to do. Since I could not I could see nothing because of the brightness of that light. I was led by hand by my companions and entered Damascus. A certain Ananias, a devout observer of the law, and highly spoken of by all the Jews who lived there, came to me and stood there and said, Saul, my brother, regain your sight. And at that very moment, I regained my sight and saw him. Then he said, The God of our ancestors designated you to know his will, to see the righteous one, and to hear the sound of his voice, for you will be his witness before all to what you have seen and heard. Now, why delay? Get up and have yourself baptized and your sins washed away calling upon his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. 
Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Please all stand. chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. As I mentioned in our introduction, today we celebrate the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. And whenever we hear the word conversion, especially in a religious sense, we easily associate with someone who turned away from sin. Yun yung larawan natin kapag may sinabi natin na convert, conversion, may pagbabagong buhay. Para bang tinatalikuran yung kasalanan, tinatalikuran yung lumang pamumuhay, tinatalikuran kung ano yung masamang nakahagawian. Because in reality, we are all invited to undergo conversion. That is, to turn away from sin. But if we look at the situation of St. Paul, we cannot claim that he was turn away, turning away from sin. In fact, he was very zealous in protecting the Jewish faith. He saw the followers of Jesus as a threat to the Jewish faith. And as a zealous and pious Jew, he was there to protect the faith that he inherited from his ancestors. But what was his conversion about? His conversion was a change in paradigm. His conversion was a widening of horizon. At first, he was just fixated on Judaism that he thought that whoever is not with him is against him. And this was what St. Paul was explaining in our first reading. He knew the laws of Moses. He respects the laws of Moses. But after encountering Jesus, it changed everything. With that experience, he widened up his horizon, he broadened his perspective, and he got to understand the experiences of the followers of Jesus. This is also the challenge for us today. Conversion is not simply turning away from sin. Conversion would also mean widening up our horizons, broadening our perspectives, and shifting our paradigms. Because whenever we get too fixated on our paradigms, then there is no room left for us to receive feedbacks and comments. When we are stuck with our own mindsets, we see others as antagonists in our lives. 
when we fail to hear and listen to one another, we end up listening only to ourselves. When we fail to understand the unique situation of one another, then we fail to be charitable. As we go along with our daily lives, hopefully this is one thing that we can remember. Change is not something we impose on one another. Change is not imposing our own mindsets. Change begins with us. And if you are open to change, then we also invite others to see the beauty of change. Please stand. Let us pray for the mission of the Church and the needs of the world be deemed by Christ. For every intention we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pope, the bishops, and priests may be zealous in preaching repentance and conversion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That missionaries may have the courage to proclaim the gospel, even in difficult places and circumstances. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are in doubt or despair may discover the eternal truth, which is Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May God help us repair the harm that we have inflicted upon each other and the divisions we have created among our people. May God send the grace of His Spirit to heal our divisions and gift us with the unity for which Jesus prayed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the elderly, the lonely, and the sick may receive the comfort of God's love in their distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may be forgiven of their sins and encounter God in His kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people who are asking for our prayers and for the people whom we promise to pray for. Father of our Redeemer, as we, write, as we write our prayers with the intercession of St. Paul, deepen the grace of conversion in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with that light of faith with which he constantly enlightened the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and answered willingly in his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, give us this day, day our daily, daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which the blessed apostle burned ardently as he bore his concern for all the churches. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tonight we join the community of the Diocesan Shrine of Santo Nino de Bago Bantay Parish in Quezon City who will lead us for our healing rosary for the world tonight at 9 p.m. You may follow them through our social media platforms and we continue to pray for the healing of the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen.